Other husbands, have you ever forgotten that your wife is like a certified gangster? My wife had somebody try her gangster today and I was like, oh, I forgot that side of you is not exclusively reserved for me. It can come out to other people as well. My wife is single-handedly the most loving, caring, compassionate person I've ever had the privilege to know. But she's about that life! It's like if Paula Dean and Tupac had a baby. He is just a little crock pot of craziness. Like if Joanna Gaines and Scarface decided that they were going to do a collab of Farmhouse Fixer Upper. Freaking story time, all right? I'm trying to play by the rules. Last year, I took the kids out of school a lot early for other activities, right? And attendance became an issue. So I'm like not going to do early dismissal this year unless I absolutely have to. Today, we have an orthodontist appointment, right? It's taken us three months to get this. So guess what? They're getting out early. The orthodontist appointment is at 2.30. Now that I say that out loud, that's kind of funny. So I'm like, all right, look, it's 10 minutes away from the school. I'll get to the school at two. I'll get the kids out. We'll drive over to the orthodontist appointment. Be great, right? That, that way they're there all day. Yeah, it's early dismissal, but they were there most of the day. I pull up to the school, pull up to the school, right? Two o'clock and uh, hit the little pager thing to get into the school. Early dismissal is closed now. The, the office is closed. You're just gonna have to wait. I'm not, I'm not trying to make a deposit. I'm trying to make a withdrawal. I need, I need my youngins, right? Like that, that we got a doctor's appointment. Five minutes, this lady is on the speaker telling me how she can't let me have my kids because the office is closed. I need to go wait in the car rider line. They, they don't even line up till 310, but I basically can't have my youngins. Even if I wanted to, there's nothing I can do. The office is closed, okay? So you're gonna have to get them at regular dismissal the only thing I could do is a family emergency, and you've already said that it's a doctor's appointment, so I'm sorry, this is all I can do. la di da di da it's the one and only D-O-double-G, Snoop Dogg! I make a phone call. My youngins are brought to me, and I'm apologized to. Please, please tell your wife that we're sorry for this misunderstanding, and will you please, please let her know that this issue was resolved without conflict, okay? Just, just let her know. You, you, you're, you're gonna tell her, right? You'll do that for me, please? Yeah, 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 thanks. And just don't let it happen again, okay? Don't make me call my wife. Here's the thing, I'm not even sure what my wife said to these people on the phone, but they were mortified, they were terrified. Do you know what kind of power that gives me? I called my wife and I'm like, what did you say to them? Nothing that they didn't need to hear. I just made it abundantly clear that they don't want the smoke. Oh, by the way, pumpkin, after the orthodontist, will you stop and get some cream cheese? I'm gonna make some pumpkin bread for the kids. I, I hear you, domesticated ex. Like, I feel like Aunt May in this situation. With great power comes great responsibility. I, I don't know if I should be thrilled or terrified, but she's 100% feral. Uh, hey, by the way, stickers are available up here or down here. Have a good one.